dystopian times. This week, we have a really exciting future content creator. So this is an individual that has been producing really quality content, uh, specifically as it relates to media bias, using um, basically manufacturing consent by uh, Noam Chomsky. But I'm just going to let him explain it because I think he uh, does it the best, folks. Here's our featured content creator of the week. Called you a snake. They use mm -hmm. the snake emoji. Medicare for all is crazy. I just saw it with my twins. They love the Trump cameo. That was one of the most interesting parts of the movie. My name's Spencer, and I think the news sucks. Not indie news, not indie media, but corporate and mainstream media, they clearly suck. And with my channel, I try to explicate how and why they suck. And for me and what I do, an important framework for that is the propaganda model laid out in manufacturing consent. See, there are five filters that ultimately orient mainstream news. The first being ownership. Hey look, we're at the corner of Fox Square and Fox Square. Fox News, which is owned by Fox Corporation. Let's cross the street to Rockefeller Center. NBC News, which is owned by Comcast and Vanguard, which owns about 7% of both. Next is advertising. Cable networks need to bring in more than a million dollars a day in advertising. Loss in viewership equals lower ad rates. Therefore, stories which challenge your audience are tantamount to burning money. Sources, determining the credibility of which can cost time and money, but official sources are already deemed credible. And look at this nice press room they set up for us. It's so easy. Black is when we punish the media. This is anything from complaining on Twitter to seeking the extradition of a publisher. And the last is ideology. Whatever cultural theater of war we might be engaged in, there is a unifying ideology that transcends it and will kill us all. Fox and CNN may not agree on critical race theory or trans rights, but if there's a telecom merger or some crazy old guys talking about getting rid of fracking or abolishing private insurance, the networks will come together. Abolishing private health insurance, those are crazy ideas. And one natural outcome of these filters is the separation of victims into worthy and unworthy columns. Did you know that the New York Times wrote a small book's worth of articles on election fraud in Belarus? So why does Belarus get that kind of treatment but never Central or South America? Or why did the coup in Bolivia and the farmer's strike in India mostly get ignored? There are pretty concrete answers for all of these things. I also do interviews, book reviews, and sometimes dives into the media of other countries, and I would be incredibly grateful if you gave some of it a watch. But thank you for your time, and Mike, I've been watching your videos for years now. I think what you do is really valuable, especially promoting candidates. Thanks for all you do, and I'll see you all in the next one. Well, folks, you can uh, check out this person's channel. They're just over 1,000, so we want to get this person to 10 thousand subscribers it's a bit of an ambitious goal i think we can do it though let's let's support uh independent content creators and if you're watching on means tv um you'll have to find them on youtube but if you're on youtube thankfully there will be a link in the description box uh, i just want to remind everyone that the last day to submit your channel is september or excuse me the last day of august because this uh the season finale of dystopian times is september 8th i believe so after that i won't I won't be doing any more dystopian times until next year. Maybe I'll do something else, but I'm going to shift to um, interviewing candidates. So at least get your submission in. Not going to cover everyone, but I want to give you the chance, folks. <laughs>